again to Musician U Magazine. I'm Kevin Fortunato, and today I'm going to demonstrate some Latin grooves. Back in the day, about 150,000 years ago, when I was a student at Berklee College of Music, the prestigious Berklee College of Music, um, I remember taking a lab, and that lab, uh, in that lab, there was a little section on Latin drumming or Afro-Cuban drumming. And it was pretty eye-opening for me. It gave me a lot of uh, examples that I could draw on when I played uh, Latin music, or especially when I played jazz music and it had a Latin section in it. So that's kind of what I want to give you today, a little uh, rundown of some Latin grooves that you could play, uh, in particular Latin grooves that work very well in a jazz setting. So without further delay or resistance, let's um, dive right in. So the first one that I want to show you is a Mozambique pattern. I'm not sure where I picked it up, but um, could even have been at that lab at Berkeley. But here's how it goes, and you can find it notated in the article. So definitely read the article as well. The next example I want to show you is a Nanigo pattern. This is a 6-8 Afro-Cuban pattern and it sounds like this. The next thing I want to show you is a Songo pattern. So, um, I'm going to play a little bit more of an advanced songo pattern, and then I might play a simple songo pattern. So, sounds like this. And if you play like a simple songo pattern, I'll include this one in the article itself, you would have something more like this. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is what I call the unknown Latin groove. I'm not sure where I picked it up. And this one works very well in a jazz setting. So let's say you're playing a jazz tune and you got, you know, the more traditional jazz stuff and then it switches into a Latin section. This could be something that works very well in that setting. And that sounds like this. So when you walked in on this session, I was playing a little bit of something that had some left foot and some right cymbal, and that is cascada with clave. The cascada pattern that I'm going to play with my right hand is basically one, two, and, and, and one, two, three, and, and one. So that pattern revolves over and over, it just keeps going. Um, the pattern I'm going to play with my left foot. which is beat one, the end of two, the end of four, and then two and three. So, when you put those together, it sounds like this. And then finally, when you start layering stuff in there, snare drum, tom-toms, rim clicks, etc., etc., you could have something like this.
So anyways, thank you for tuning in to Musician Year Magazine again. I am very grateful and honored to be able to present these videos to you. Hopefully you find them helpful, uh, as I did back in the day when I was at Berkeley. And uh, tune in next time. Uh, who knows what I'll come up with next time. So enjoy. Thanks. Bye-bye.